In order to understand the structure of the plasma membrane, which is found in every single cell, you need to understand the structure of this molecule right here, which is a phospholipid. Now, a phospholipid is made up of two parts. We have the phosphate and glycerol head right here, and then we have these two fatty acid tails, okay? hence the lipid part. So phospho for the phosphate glycerol head, lipid fatty acid tails. Now, because every phospholipid has two distinct regions, it also has um, different qualities. The head we refer to as hydrophilic, hydrophilic, and then the tails are hydrophobic. Might be easier to figure out what hydrophobic means first. Hydro refers to water, and then phobia, right, fear. So things that are hydrophobic, or sometimes also referred to as nonpolar, do not like water. They don't like to interact with water. Um, lipids tend to be hydrophobic and nonpolar. Think about, you've heard the expression like mixing oil and water. They don't mix. That's because oils, as lipids, are hydrophobic. So these fatty acid tails right here don't like water. Now, hydrophilic, as you can imagine, it's kind of the opposite. Water loving. So these are things that like water. So the phosphate glycerol head up here likes to interact with water. Um, something that is hydrophilic is often polar. So what ends up happening is the head of the phospholipid likes water, the tails don't. So this gives us some different formations that phospholipids tend to arrange themselves into. If we were to randomly drop a whole bunch of phospholipids into water, they would form this circular shape right here, which is known as a mycel. Um, just like how if you put soap or oil or anything else um, into water, it forms this little bubble, okay, a little circular shape, and what we see is that all of those water-loving phosphate glycerol heads are interacting with the watery environment, and then those water-fearing hydrophobic tails, those nonpolar tails, are in the middle. Now, our cells, if, you know, if this was how cells arrange themselves, there's no space in the middle for all of the other things, the organelles and the nucleus and everything that happens in our cells. So what happens is phospholipids arrange themselves into a phospholipid bilayer something important to know, phospholipid bilayer. That's what makes up our cell membrane, right? Bi tells us that there are two layers of phospholipids. So both outside the cell and inside the cell are watery environments. So the hydrophilic heads interact with those watery environments. The hydrophobic tails don't have to. And that's what makes up your cell membrane. The plasma membrane is made up of a lot more than just phospholipids. That creates the base of the plasma membrane. So we have our two layers of phospholipids. In addition to those two layers, we also have um, transmembrane proteins, which are responsible for transport. Very important. So allows molecules that are too big to pass directly through the phospholipid bilayer to get in and out of the cell. Very important. We will talk more about that um, very soon. Another thing we have are these carbohydrate chains, which you can see these carbohydrate chains. Now what they do is they're responsible for the identification of the cell. This way your cell, um, your cells can recognize which cells belong to your body and which cells belong to foreign things like bacteria and viruses that maybe should not be in your body. And then we also have, let's see right in here, this cholesterol, these cholesterol molecules, another type of lipid. Cholesterol is responsible for helping to stabilize the, um, the plasma membrane. So we find cholesterol in animal cells, and that just makes the membrane a little bit less fluid, which is important. So these are kind of the main structures of your plasma membrane, which we find, remember, in all cells, prokaryotes and eukaryotes.